Hello folks, welcome back. In this lecture we are going to talk about roles. I am on Ansible documentation where they have explained clearly creating reusable playbooks. There are two ways that is including and importing and roles. So we are talking about roles. Let's understand what is role and why we should go with role. If we go back to Ansible control node, we have written multiple playbooks. Okay, this is one of the playbook. You can see how many tasks are there and uh, it will continue to grow further if we are enhancing our Apache server. Same way will happen even for Tomcat playbook as well. So if you see setup tomcat.yml, where does it? Yep. If you see this file, you can see if we continue to enhance this playbook, it will be growing further. Whenever it is growing bigger, it will be quite difficult to manage. You will get confused or you lost control what you are doing on your playbook. To overcome this one, we can split our playbook into roles. So if we split, it would be very easy to understand your playbook. And also another advantage of using roles are reusability. You can reuse the same task in the other section as well. Or other people can use the your role. So those are the advantages. Let's go and see our Ansible definition what they have given for roles. While it is possible to write a playbook in very large file, as I said, we can make it grow. You might start out learning playbooks in this way. Okay, so we have learned same way. Eventually, you will want to reuse files and start to organize them. In Ansible, there are three ways to do this. That is include imports and roles. So we are talking about roles. So roles allows more than just tasks to be packaged together and can include variables, handlers, or even modules and other plugins, unlike includes and imports. So we don't use much about the includes and imports. So we are going to talk about roles in this training. So we can use those by using the Ansible Galaxy. So Ansible Galaxy contains the roles, which is predefined roles. We can take those roles and we can use. But Ansible Galaxy is not scope of this training. So I'm going to talk about roles itself. So here they're more talked about includes and imports. So let's go to roles. Okay, yep, this is the role space. Okay, I already opened, that's okay. So if you see here, this is role. While creating our role, we will get this structure. Please remember, role get this structure. So you will have your role, under role, you have these directories. Those are tasks, handlers, files, templates, where's defaults, meta. So let's create a role in our system as well. So I'm creating a role called uh, Tomcat, sorry, HTTP, because I'm going to convert this playbook into your role now okay so let's create ansible galaxy init setup apache okay setup apache this is the role i am creating so ansible galaxy what does it do it is going to initialize a role that role name is setup apache and it creates the directory structure so that we can easily understand it has been created see here role setup apache was created and uh, this is the directory let's go inside to this and you can see multiple directories i'm going to execute a tree so tree is not there yum install tree sudo yum install tree yes so let's clear the screen tree if i do you can see here you will have a defaults under that there is a main file files files is there then handlers under that main file is there meta main file is there readme.md tasks main file is there templates tests where's okay these are the default directories first defaults defaults nothing but assume that you are running your ansible playbook and your ansible playbook requires some inputs to execute it so while running your role you need to provide that information those variables but sometimes you may not provide those variables if you don't provide it takes from the defaults okay that is the advantage so that is where defaults come into the picture anyway while using our role you will understand next files so files nothing but you would like to copy some files while running this role for example we are copying http sorry index.html onto target system so now index.html we can keep it under files next to handlers 
handlers nothing but if you are doing some task okay if the task is executed then only you want to execute your next task so that is where we have installed httpd if httpd is installed then only start the services if it is not executed don't do that one those handlers we are going to keep it under this location then meta it is kind of metadata we don't use this read me about the information of your role next to tasks this is the actual important one and uh, this is the mandatory directory for your role you can remove all this but tasks must be exist so here we are going to keep all our tasks installing httpd and how you can copy a file all this information we are going to do then templates Templates nothing but you need to copy some configuration files onto target systems and it depends upon target system you need to copy specific file. Okay, in those case we are going to use template. Template and files both are similar but file it will copy as it is but template even you can use variables in the file and according to the target system these templates are copied onto target system. Next to tests, how you can test it, just to, to test whether your role is working fine or not by using some test inventory and test YML. Next to where's, usually variables we can store it over here. Where's and defaults looks similar, but defaults, if you don't specify any variable, it takes this value. But if you define where's already, then it is going to ignore the defaults. That is all about how roles get created. And let's go and see the definitions of this one. You can see tasks contain the main list of tasks to be executed by role and handlers contain handlers which may be used by this role or even whenever outside of the role. So defaults, defaults variable for this role, whereas other variables for this role. Files contains the files which can be deployed via this role. Templates contain templates which can be deployed via this role. Okay, meta defines some metadata for this role. So this is how it works. So I am stopping over here. In next lecture we are going to see how can we convert our Ansible playbook into a role.